This video will explain the workflow of uh, JEDA and it will use the go between program JEDA schematic to PCB project. So just start in the schematic editor and we're going to add a couple of devices. And we'll also pop in just a normal component, just a resistor, I think. That'll do, just need a couple of those. Just press escape there to drop the component and zoom in using the mouse wheel. So just start by double clicking and bringing up the attribute editor and we just have to give everything a distinct ref des. So we've got D1 and D2 for the two devices. For the resistors, we'll change it to R1 and R2. And these have to be separate. And these will correspond with the uh, with the PCB. So if we just have a look at the um, the attributes on the device, you see we've got a footprint with a value of test, and the resistors don't have a footprint. This will need to be added so that it will work with the PCB so it knows which footprint to put down for this particular symbol. So I know that one, that R025 is a basic resistor footprint. I'll add that in. You can go through the names of the different footprints as various libraries. You can have a look in the, in the PCB program and find those or you can make your own. So just got my little circuit there. Just line things up a bit. And I just need to join everything together with the net. So this is the net that the PCB will use for auto routing. So just clicking on the endpoints here. If I want it to go out to a point I can use control click right to here, and just click that down and then just click on the end point again just so you're not still in line mode because you've got, it's like a sticky line there we go so we've got a little basic schematic there so if we just save that um, well, we'll just create a folder to pop, pop everything in. So just create a folder. I'm just going to call it demo. Back there. Find that on the desktop. Yeah, there's a folder. And we'll just call this demo as well. And once that's saved, we can just close that down. That's everything we need here. And then we go to open schematic but we other mouse button click and open with. You see you can normally just open it with schematic editor but you can also open it with this other go between program and you also add the schematic so you just double click there put the demo schematic there and then just click update layout and it produces the PCB file for you. So just close down these windows, don't need these and zoom in so we can see what we're doing and then we've got components in the corner but they're all bunched up on top of each other they just get dumped in the corner so the first thing that I like to do is click on select and disperse all the elements just so you can see what you've got there and if you notice the rats nests they've stayed exactly where they are I'll just move things about a bit as well uh, so just enable the grid there see what, so we can see what we're doing uh, yeah so the rats nests are off to one side so they will have to be refreshed so you just go to connections and optimize rats nests and you get a dialog, up, a dialog box up you just close that and it reconfigures those for you you use them to do the routing the auto routing so you just select what type of routing you want in the corner here you can make your own up then you highlight everything and go to buffer sorry select and auto route selected rats 
and there we go. It's a nice dialog box telling us that it's successful and it auto routes the PCB for you from the schematic. And you can see they're all on one layer, they're all on the component layer, which is the layer highlighted in the left. Um, that's why they're all red to denote which uh, layer the uh, tracks are on, but you can you can activate and deactivate these layers at the side here. You've got the silk layer and the pads and the vias and these other layers here. So we just highlight another layer and select that one so this is the active layer and you can highlight the tracks and move it to this particular layer if you like. So just highlight all of these and then press Shift M and they go green to denote that they're now on the signal layer and the other ones are on the component layer. So there you go.